Welcome to this week's video. Today we come down to Fish Lake Meadows and it's a bit of a changeable day. The weather's so far uh, has been in and out. Uh, typical sort of early uh, spring weather. Uh, sunshine and showers. Just had a patch of sunshine and just as I walked down uh, from where I parked the car, probably just still hear them, managed to get some fire crests. Really difficult mooching around all over the show. Uh, it's one thing is to get on them. It's another thing to get some sharp film of them. Just looking on the back of the camera, I'm hoping a couple of shots might be okay. Gonna keep going, but with this light coming in and out like this, I think today's gonna be a bit of a challenge. With the rain, uh, I suspect I'm not gonna be able to get down to the screens, um, even when it's <laughs> reasonably uh, sort of wet weather you can uh, only just about get down there sometimes in in uh, boots i reckon it's a, a welly job so i'm gonna probably walk down the canal hopefully catch some some more uh, bits of sun uh, and look from the observation sort of there's a couple of places where you can look onto the lake uh, at the end um, then it's going to be back home quite early i think the weather's supposed to be really closing in by about midday so hopefully then I'm gonna pop back and have a look at the trail camera really quite excited at the last position if you watched um, last week's video sort of fingers crossed gonna pick something up there well hopefully it won't get rained on um, yeah let's see what comes So I suspected uh, the path is um, well and truly flooded, so there's no way of getting up to the screens. Uh, just heard the bittern booming, real shame. Uh, first time uh, for me, I don't think I could uh, get it on the, on the shotgun mic. Um, I spoke to uh, one of the volunteers that opens up uh, the car park and uh, it was quite Quite good the way in which she explained it. It's like someone blowing across uh, a bottle. Uh, and uh, once she described that to me, I came walking around and heard it. So that's something that I want to try, try and film if I can. But uh, I'm just getting odd glimpses in, in the in the clouds. A little bit of sunshine's rough. Uh, like I say, a real challenge filming because you're, you're getting like bright sun uh, on the one hand, and then and then real overcast on the other. But yeah, work with it. Let's see what comes. So one of the main motivations for coming up to the end of the venue here and looking across the water was to see these great crested grebes. Sort of hoped that I might see uh, a bit of the mating dance that they have with the weed, but they just were hunkered down. And, but I was surprised how many there were. There were at least five or six. So once they get to uh, the heading gear, it might be a good place to come to observe that. Typical gulls all around, along with the tufted ducks. But something that caught my eye almost right in front of me, diving down and then coming back up, was the pochard. Now it's a scarce breeding bird here in the UK. It's only around about 700 pairs thought to breed, and mostly in England. But in winter, um, the sort of numbers are supplemented by sort of 30,000 or so. So with global warming and the winter temperatures are up, and uh, their natural uh, habitat is being ice-free, the knock-on effect for us is of lesser numbers coming to visit. So 
there's a couple of uh, viewpoints uh, along the canal and here was where I could hear the booming very very close but what I like about this is you can see the challenge we have with the cloud and the blue sky but one of those rare patches of sunshine illuminated this rain and it was quite surprising how long it stayed here giving a real burst of song So the river authorities had a couple of vehicles parked up on a track that leads to the venue and the work that they were doing was to clear some of the overhanging branches that were stopping the flow of the canal. And it amazes me how quickly nature takes advantage of situations because as the vehicles left, this grey wagtail came down searching for the worms and insects that the fresh mud had turned up. Well, a little bit of coffee just before uh, I finally pack up. Been following the weather for uh, the last hour or so, and it looks as if well, it's 11 o'clock now, and it looks as if it's a sort of almost 80% chance of rain from 12 to 1. So I think that's time to go. It's been a really good morning. I've enjoyed myself so much. The what with the fire crests right at the start, and then walking on the end, seeing the pochards and the great crested grebes, even though they weren't displaying. It was nice to see them. But I think the highlights for today was listening to the booming of the bittern and that uh, wren just boldly sat up there singing. That uh, was amazing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up, like and subscribe. I hope you've joined me for coffee uh, in the next one.